So I'm thinking about updating my running regime. Even though I really haven't been running much, uh, back in 2014 I started running uh, 30 miles a week consistently, and uh, it really changed my uh, changed a lot in my body, uh, my physique, everything. And I did that for about a year and a half. And of course, 30 miles at the 40 miles at the 50 miles at the 60, and eventually at some points I was doing 80 miles a week running. I ran eight marathons in 2014, a double marathon, which is 52 miles, uh, a couple ultra marathons, 30, 34 milers. And it just took a toll on my, on my ambition to keep that kind of workout regime up. Uh, I mean, it was just uh, an amazing time dedication to keep doing that. So as a result of me just not me being unmotivated, and then I had injuries on top of it, I had really stopped running altogether. Um, and I would just, I would nurse injuries. I wouldn't work through injuries. I'd be like, ah, you know, I'm injured. Let me take another extra month off. And you can look at my Strava and see there's times that I haven't ran for six weeks, eight weeks, and I went out back there hard again. I did 50 miles this summer once. I hadn't run in almost three months, two and a half months, and I rocked out 50 miles one week. And 49. I was just like, man, at the end of 10 days, I was like, man, this is just, this, I'm not conditioned to do this. So I've been listening to one of my favorite health gurus. And this person is saying that three miles a day is optimal, uh, for, for running, uh, to keep your body in shape and to reverse a lot of things and just feel good and for your physique and everything. So, um, it's no secret that I have gained weight over the course of the last since May this year, and it's, it's now October 1st, I had a very stressful summer in the kitchen. Uh, I didn't have enough staff, and I was in the kitchen every single day, 18 hours a day, eating out of stress, reacting out of stress, um, there late at night, eating late at night, having a glass of wine, two glasses of wine, sometimes three glasses of wine, or a really good beer, one or two of those. And I just wasn't taking care of myself, and I knew that, but um, summer was extremely busy, and it was just what we had to do to survive. Now I have a kitchen staff again, so I can be out like what I'm doing now and, and enjoy the nature. So um, I think my new plan here is to do three miles a day, but intervals, to run in intervals. Um, I did hear once uh, from another, another uh, fitness and health guru that that if you went out just for 10 minutes a day and just maxed your max yourself out at 10 minutes a day that you would that you would be doing your body a huge benefit. So if you only have time for 10 minutes, go run, run your ass off for 10 minutes basically as fast as you can. And you know, that's about a mile, for me that's about a mile and a quarter, um mile and a third maybe if I just ran out there and just ran all hard uh for uh for 10 minutes. But I really like this idea of 3 miles a day. Uh 3 miles a day doing intervals. So speed up a half a mile, slow down for half a mile. Speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. And that does a lot of beneficial things for your body. Just trains your body uh, to recover. And recovery mode is extremely important. I was also talking to my wife the other day about heart rate training. Uh, I read a book a couple years ago in 2014. Uh, Rich Roll. Rich Roll did a lot of heart rate training. Uh, Rich Roll came on to be like an elite Ironman um, super iron man uh, from a couch potato and he uh claims a part of his success was heart rate training and the first time that he went out to train he actually uh when we started doing heart rate this trainer said nothing over 140. so he went out because he had gone out there and he had done a marathon and he had been successful and then he tried an ultra ultra marathon and he he had a did not do not finish in there and uh, you know any runner does not want to do not finish and so he was like, what am I doing wrong? I thought I've trained enough. I thought I've trained enough. I thought I've, I, I thought I put the time in and he had put the time in, but his heart wasn't ready to keep up that long endurance. So he started training at 140. And the theory of that is, um, you have to figure it out your heart rate for every, for your age and everything. It's just not 140 universal across the board. I mean, it might be a good start for most people. Cause if you never have a heart rate trained, that's probably a good place unless you're Older than 40, I would say, then maybe you want to lower that. So the idea is to take your heart rate, run out there, and as soon as your heart rate hits that target heart rate of 140, in his case, or in my case, that's what I that's what I had started doing in 2014, uh, you stop and you slow down, which teaches your heart to work so, uh, lower for the same output. And I would do this running up the Cragsmore Mountain, 
and I found, you know, the first time I ran up the mountain, I had to stop five, six times because I wanted to keep my heart rate, keep my heart rate down. The second time I ran up the mountain, it was much easier. I had, so I stopped less until I could run up the whole mountain without stopping at all and keeping my heart rate under 140 degrees. I'm sorry, 140 beats. So I was having my heart work less to get more output is the name of the game for that. So heart rate training is a really important way to, to, uh, to train for endurance and long distance. However, when you're out there doing intervals, um, you're actually getting your heart rate really up into different zones and then making it recover. And that really makes you a faster runner. Uh, a lot of people who, who race uh, do a lot of intervals because they want to be a faster runner. Um, so intervals are the way to go. But I guess the, regardless of whatever, whatever my situation is or your situation, I guess the name of the game is get out there and, and do it. Uh, I'm on a hike today. It's only about a mile and a half hike. I wasn't feeling good yesterday. I had a fever. I was in bed early last night. Couldn't sleep all night. But I said, you know what? It's too beautiful of a day not to get out. So I got myself out of bed this morning and here I am in nature. So what is your training? Do you have a favorite, famous uh, or favorite training technique that you use uh, for running to keep in shape? I'm 44 years old. Um, so, you know, my, of course, the training program for me and somebody who's 24, a bit different, but leave some comments of your favorite training program, what you'd like to do, any techniques that can help, that can help anybody. And uh, that's it. Now check out some cool drone footage.